What's good sneakerheads and welcome back to Crew Kicks and welcome back to the first ever performance review of a running shoe, a running shoe, a running shoe, a running shoe. Now I know what you're thinking, yes, I do run. I thought I would need some extra motivation in the gym. I heard about these new Nike sneakers that came out for running. I thought they looked dope. I tried them on in the store and they felt good. So I said, you know what? This is gonna be my new treadmill sneaker. If you're new to the channel, man, this is Crew Kicks where we upload a video five days a week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I don't know why I don't say just Monday through Friday, but five days a week people with that being said this video is gonna be super short and super quick so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into these sneakers right here in this classic OG well it's not an OG but a classic orange Nike box so let's go ahead and get into it these do go for a suggested retail price of hundred and seventy five dollars now I do have to say for a running shoe it sucks paying that much but for the performance you're getting and the technology and all that stuff I do understand it. I would prefer the shoes to cost no more than $140 but I mean Nike's Nike they're trying to give us the best product I guess so $175 will do. And these are called the Nike Lunar Epic Flyknit. As you guys know Flyknit technology has taken over everything with Nike from casual shoes to running shoes to basketball shoes. It is just dominating the sneaker game and these shoes are no different. So first thing I noticed when I did get these shoes and I was trying them on is that they came with an extra pair of inserts. So let's go ahead and put those inserts down. Boom! We got the Lunar Epic Flyknit in the beautiful green and blue colorway. I had my, actually my Twitter followers follow me on Twitter at Kai Somar. I had my Twitter followers decide which colorway I should get with the little pole and this one won so I picked these up. So as you guys can see, the main feature of this shoe is the all upper fly knit with the ankle fly knit wrap. I guess, I don't know what the technical name of this is. I'm one of those sneaker YouTubers where I don't get too much into the the exact names of certain parts and, and technology in the shoe. I just give you guys the one on one like we're homies and we talk. So basically this ankle area which definitely reminds me of like a Kobe 9 type of sneaker is super comfortable and it's really unusual for a running shoe because most running shoes are low top so you expect something like this. So this is just different and this is definitely what attracted me. I thought at first this was going to be kind of annoying but honestly this gives you a super lockdown feel which I really like on the treadmill and when I'm running. There was no complaints with the whole body of the shoe. I also thought that this lacing system was kind of going to be kind of tight on my foot because the, the body of the shoe already is like sucked up to your foot. I don't know if that was a good way to put it. Body of the sh <laughs> shoe basically goes over your foot perfectly like a sock. So I thought this lacing system if I tied it any tighter would just make my foot like go numb or you know what I'm saying but uh, but what I did is I didn't tight it so tight um, the fly wire on here was great for side support is another thing that I was kind of worried about with like running outdoor when I'm making turns and stuff I thought my foot I have a fat foot so I thought my foot was gonna go over a lot but this fly right here definitely does keep you stable which is super good overall the upper of the shoe no complaints as long as you t uh, lace them right, I think you should be good. Now, let's get into the bottom of the shoe. If you guys know me, you guys know I'm a Kobe 8 fanatic. I think it's the best basketball shoe of all time, and that's because they included Lunar into the shoe. It was the first basketball shoe with Lunar, and it's Lunar is just the most comfortable thing in the world to me, and as you guys can see, they did include Lunar in this 
shoe and it states that right there. The thing that really did also attract me is that it just looks super dope. Like they cut up the lunar to give you more like, so what is the word I'm looking for? Impact. As you guys can see, when you step, you got that impact and those ridges just close up, giving you nice, you know, I don't know exactly what it's gonna do for your shoe, but it looks cool and it feels great. I felt like I had super control because this bottom is not just one solid rubber bottom. As you guys can see, they separated all these parts. Even right here, you guys can see that there is a lot of flexibility on that bottom sole. There was times when I'm like, all right, let me run and land on the back of my heel just to see if I can feel it. Cause I was trying to like run from a different perspective, like more of like, Actually, instead of just running like, yo, let me run and see how my shoes feel. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't know what I'm saying. Okay, anyway, as you guys can see on the back too right there. So there's a lot of control when it comes to the shoe and I thought that was gonna be a problem just because it is a little high off the ground and just because it's, it's a little different. It looks different, you know what I'm saying? But it was, honestly, it was really great. I really have no complaints and I'm not just saying that to be like, oh, this shoe's great. Like I'm honestly, there was no flaws for me. Maybe over time there might be a few flaws, but that happens with any running shoe and that just happens on how much you use the shoe, you know what I'm saying? So overall, if you are looking for a new running shoe to pick up, I definitely do recommend the Lunar Epic Flyknits. I think this is a great overall shoe, comfort wise. Look wise, everything, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. And let me know what you guys think of this video. Did you like that I did something different other than just my sneaker pickups? Let me know if I should go pick up more running shoes and give you guys some reviews. And uh, if you enjoyed, that thumbs up button, it's there for a reason. Use it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crew Kicks where we upload a new video five days a week. So make sure you guys subscribe. I will see you tomorrow with a new video and I'm out of here. Hello.